Here is a question from chapter 9, section 2, that a student was struggling with, and so here I am working it in StatCrunch. Uh, the idea is that there are diet sodas and there are regular sodas, and they have different amounts of stuff in them. And the question is, what's the confidence interval for the hypothesis test? So our hypothesis test is that actually there's less in the first than in the second. And so the way we would work this problem, um, this is a mean and we don't know the standard deviation of the population, sigma, and so I'm using T stats. It's two sample, they tell us that it's independent. And so that's why I'm choosing two sample instead of paired. This would be for dependent matched. This is for independent. I do not have the data. All I have is a summary. And so getting a confidence interval for mu1, well, let's fill in the v values, I guess. I have to do that no matter what. Uh, sample 1 has a sample mean of uh, 0 0.78417. So 0 0.78417. The sample standard deviation is 0.004. Well, I bumped something. Sorry, kids. I don't know what I bumped. But I bumped something. Let's see if we can start that over. Yep, let's just start it over. My fat fingers. Where were we? T stats. Two sample with a summary. Here we go. Sample mean. Be more careful. I think my wrist brushed against the mouse. 0.78417. Yeah, I keyed it in once before. The sample standard deviation is 0 0.00437. The sample size is 40. For the second, the regular, I'm putting a sample mean of 0.81495, a standard deviation of 0 0.00743, and a sample size of 40. We like it when the samples are similar sizes. It makes a lot of statistical procedures a little more robust, so that's a good thing. And just to check that we have done this correctly, let's go ahead and work this part, even though the student wasn't having difficulty with it. Um, our hypothesis test was, the claim was, you know, diet doesn't have as much stuff in it as the regular cans. And so we put a less than there, and we compute, and we get this negative 22.58, which is the right answer, and the p-value was essentially zero, and so we did reject the null. We do think that there, on average, is less fluid in the diet cans than in the regular cans. So... Now, what's a confidence interval for the hypothesis test? And so what we're doing here, let's go into edit. What we're doing here is we are subtracting mu1 minus mu2. Good enough. And this is probably where the student's going wrong. This is just a bit tricky. There's a 0 0.01 significance level. So a 0 0.01 significance level. And I wish I could draw on this screen. Imagine your T distribution, right? It kind of looks like a normal distribution, except the tails are a little fatter. So here's the baseline, and here's my T distribution. And what we are saying, the original claim is that the amount of diet soda is less than the amount of regular soda. So looking at our imaginary, you can just almost see it, can't you? This is how good your imagination is. You can see that you are very interested in this one-tailed distribution over here. Remember that these critical regions always have to be symmetric. So if there's a 0 0.01 here, then there's also a 0 0.01 here. And if there's a 0 0.01 and a 0 0.01, then that's a 0 0.02 total. And what's left in the middle is 1 minus 0 0.02, so this is 0.98. And that's the complicated part. If this were two-tailed, then the alpha value 
would be shared across the two tails. But here we're interested in just one tail, so there's 0 0.01 in one tail, and then the question arises, well, what's in the other tail? And you say it's 0 0.01 again, and that's why you only have 0.98 left. And that is really kind of a tricky thing. So having put in 0.98, we have a lower limit and an upper limit, and I just need to round these correctly. So this is a negative 0.034, rounded to three places. The upper limit is a negative 0 0.02. 8, it's just barely an 8 instead of a 7, we round up. Hmm. And they say I'm wrong, so what did I do wrong? 0 0.034, maybe this is why the student's having trouble, it's because I don't know how to type. I do believe I said negative, here's my negative. Okay, they're happier. Whew. Dodge that bullet. Notice that this does not have a zero in it, so there's no way that the two cans can have the same amount. If if it could be zero, then the difference being zero, that would mean they're the same. And since they can't be the same, they must be less. And yeah, they have to be less because both of these are negative. Does the confidence interval support the conclusion found? Well, we rejected the null and said it was less, so it is the same. We support that conclusion because it contains what I just said, only negative values. That seems to be right. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Holler if you still have.